on the job this morning brought to you by First Student Transportation. It is time to hop on the bus. Yeah, school might be winding down, but summertime, we still need those bus drivers. And here to tell us about some great opportunities and incentives at First Student are Bill Roach, Area Manager for First Student Transportation, and April Leonardo. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Bill, like I just said, I, I picture the last scene of Grease or really any movie or TV show that bell rings, the kids throw the papers in the air, they think it's summertime. Every notion of school goes out the window, including buses, but that's not the case. You're actually in use this we time are, of year. Um, you know, we, we actually run over the summer. Uh, yeah. we, you know, we do a lot of camps. We do a lot of extended school year uh, opportunities. And, uh, and we're really, right now, we're already gearing up for next uh, September. So, uh, so the, the, the preparation is there. Uh, we try to get ourselves a few months ahead uh -huh. and bringing in some new folks. We've had a nice spike over the last few months. Good. Uh, bringing some new folks on and training them and getting them prepared. But we do operate over the summer, so those those doors don't close yeah. as far as the bus is concerned, and uh, we continue to operate over the summer. I think that's great. Oh, you mentioned the training. You are a training center manager, April. Yes. What is what does that mean? What is your what is your role? I process all the applications. I sit down with each candidate. Um, offer them whenever I can to help them through the process. Yeah. Then I run their backgrounds and I assign them to a trainer. Because we, we trust these bus drivers, yes. right? You want to make sure that you're hiring the right folks to, you know, make sure our, our kids get to wherever that might be, school camps, um, right. um, safely, maybe even a ball game. I don't remember taking buses here and there even even after the school hours. And you've been working at for, some, for quite some time. Going on 21 years now. What do you like most about it? I love everything about it. I. I started as a bus driver mm -hmm. and I had my own route. Just just seeing those kids grow up was yeah. just really rewarding for me. I think everyone has fond memories of like yeah. riding the bus and always one in the back of the bus. <laughs> I, can, I have a question for you. Do kids still jump up at the back of the bus when you go over a bump? And then some. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just making sure the uh, traditions still yes. remain in place. But Billy, we want these drivers and you're offering some wonderful um, incentives for those folks out there. We are. Uh, so we have three opportunities available. Uh, we have the, the traditional large school bus driver. Mm -hmm. uh, we have what, what's called a van driver, which is a non-CDL position to drive a van for yeah. you know smaller capacity. And then we have uh, we have monitors and aides who uh, you know keep those kiddos safe while they're on the bus yep. and uh, making sure that they uh, they load and unload safely. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the pay rate uh, is is fantastic. It's a great starting pay rate. We offer benefits, ho paid holidays, paid sick time. Awesome. Uh, starting an average starting wage in Rhode Island of about twenty two dollars an hour. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, you know if you stay with us for a few years, you know it's it's reaching close to the thirty dollars an hour. Wow. Uh, so it, it's a it's a great part time job. Uh, many opportunities, as you said, uh -huh. uh, for those athletic trips uh, after hours. Sure. Uh, during the middays, you know, kindergarten runs, field trips, different things like that. Mm -hmm. So there are plenty of hours if you make yourself available. And uh, like I said, it's a great part-time job, secondary income. Um, you know, we have the best training in the in the industry. Yeah. Uh, thanks to April and her exactly. team. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, we're we're hitting the ground running. Like I said, getting ourselves ready for uh, for the start of school mm -hmm. in September. I love that you mentioned if you take this role on now, it's a good kind of warm up to then when the school year hits and there's even you know more buses out there and more folks it makes you feel more comfortable I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, so we do have those uh, those camps and those extended school year programs that run. It's it's a little little more relaxed. Yeah. So it does give you time to get acclimated. Good. Uh, and uh, and again just give you a little taste of, of what it what it takes to be a school bus driver. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when we hit hit September we're off and running at full capacity. I bet so many of us out there still remember the name of their bus driver and the and the great folks that would take us here and there. Uh, Calvin, if you're watching, you used to take us to many a towny softball game so thank you for all of those rides that were safely done <laughs> guys thank you so much for joining us if you'd like more information or you think this is a position that you'd like to take on yourself and you'd like more this segment was brought to you by first student transportation and we have a link up at roadshow.com